Hello and welcome back to Conan Exiles and this is a 2023 playthrough on the Isle of Sipta. So we've just started out and we've chosen as our start location this corner of the map which is relatively safe I must say compared to some of the other places you can end up. Because where we want to go is down to the Isle of Dawn over here and make a base round in this area. So that's the plan. Um, here's Gaudia again. Slightly different look this time round. Uh, but she's got the same hairstyle. This is a single player game. So I'm going to go into admin and make a few changes. Yeah, I need to be in server setting. And I'm going to go down to harvesting and just double that up to two. And that's the only change I make in settings. The other thing I will do though is go down and fix the time. Just makes it a little bit more straightforward. So I'm going to freeze it at noon so everyone can see what's going on. Yeah, so this is the first time I've ever played Isle of Scepter in the Age of Sorcery, so that's going to be quite fun. But that means the first thing I've got to do really is go and find a camp, then knock a sorcerer on the head and steal their map. Because I don't know where to find sorcery in this game. I've not read up on it at all. I think there's a dog over there. <laughs> I think I saw a dog. Uh, let's get some journey steps under our belt. Let's try drinking something. There we go, so I've just gained a level. Right, so that's drink. Yeah, you can play the game where journey steps are recorded in the top right of the screen, but I've got those switched off. So what I'm going to quickly do now is just get some twigs, or some branches as the game calls them, and some rocks so we can make some tools. Yeah, so I'm assuming that at least some of the people who are watching this playthrough have never played Conan Exiles at all. I'll grab one of those things, it's an oyster. I think I can eat those raw. Yeah, I'm gonna assume that at least some of the people watching the game have never played Exiles. So I will try and explain some of the basics as I go through it. Yeah, there's a dog over there. They're quite dangerous. What have you got on you? Come on. Search the corpse of the crew. Wonderful. And I've got 13 rocks. Okay, let's go into my central inventory here. Start making some tools. So these are all the recipes you start the game with. And I will make myself a little hatchet. And I will make myself a stone pick. And that's another couple of journey steps under my belt. Another stone. What are these oysters? Here we go. Craft a tool. Can I eat the oysters raw in this game? I can't remember. The thing is, if I can't, where are they? Are they down here? That's going to cause me problems. It says raw food. I better not chance that. <laughs> I better not chance the raw food. Well, I can pick up the wood as well. Yeah, I'll make myself a little fire in a minute. Then we'll cook the oyster. Which is very sensible. I think we've probably got enough probably got enough stuff to make a little fire at the moment. You need wood and stone for that. Let's give that a go. So I've not got the recipe for fire yet. So if I go to knowledge and then go down to survival. So yeah, I've got one point available to buy stuff and the cost is one, so let's buy that. Oh damn, I need to be level three. Okay, I didn't know I had to be level 3 to make a fire. Well, that's not pretty good. Well, let's get some more wood on the way. Just run over here. All the animals you'll meet on the beach are very dangerous at this stage. So there's a dog over there. So that's why I'm taking steps to avoid him. Yeah, so my main task in this game is to find a sorcerer's map that will tell me where to go to find the materials I need to take up sorcery in this game. Because obviously sorcery is a big thing of Conan now. And I also want to perhaps make a, a small start. A small start on making a base. And I want to do that on that southern island. So what level am I at? Oh, level three, I can make my fire now. Uh, let's go to knowledge. And buy that. So spend knowledge points. Here's my little foyer on the right hand side there. Oh, I need 10 stones, damn. Okay, I've got 10 stones now. Let's get this going. Okay, lovely. I mean, water's not a problem in this game, but you can starve to death sometimes. 
Uh, I've never actually starved to death. I think I've come close to it a few times. So I want to transfer those the oyster flesh to this menu. Put it in there and then just cook it up. Yeah, for some reason I've got into my head that you could eat raw oysters, but I don't think you can. And I don't want to take a chance. So we should have one more. There we go. Let's eat one. Take that. It's another journey step. So I've eaten and eaten a filling meal. So I could have eaten anything. I could have eaten some insects out of a bush to get the eat one. But the filling meal, you have to cook something substantial. So let's keep running round. It's been so long since I've been on Scepter. It'll come back to me, I'm sure. But we are heading down here. This is called the Isle of the Dawn. And this is known as the Isle of the Dusk. And this is all covered in ash. And it's all rather unpleasant. You've got some rather unpleasant characters here called the Grey Ones. But they're quite fun. And by fun, I mean they're horrifying. But they give you some good loot. And they're not hard to kill, although they are very, very dangerous. So we do have to be careful. I need to make some clothes. Oh, there's a crocodile over there. So what I'm going to do... Oh, there's another one. Okay. Let's grab some fibre quickly. Fibre, fibre. Come on. I don't really have much fibre, do I? What I'll try and do is make some clothes. So if we go... <laughs> <laughs> He's not giving up. Let's hatch him up. Let's have our first kill of the game. Right, gaze level. Damn, okay, I'm taking damage here. I dodged by accident. Come on, you. Right, half health more or less. He's still very strong, this guy. Damn it. Uh -oh. Right, I ought to put some points in the strength, I think. Let's run out here where it's safe. That's a good thing about Conan is that you can just dive into water and you're safe from any predators. So I want to go to here. This is attributes and I've got four unspent points and I shall put two into strength. Now let's put them all into strength. Let's do that. We'll go back and we'll try and pick up some more fibre. Because I'm at half health. I can't really afford to to take much more damage. God, there's three crocodiles here now. Jesus. Oh, come on. Come on. Let's get this one. I could have chosen a better place to pick fibre, I suppose, couldn't I? Ah, uh, and I'm not healing. And that's because I've not got passive healing anymore. <laughs> I've completely forgotten about that. I've been so used to playing as a level 60 character. And passive healing was one of my attributes. I completely forgot about that. I have to eat food to heal up, don't I? A few seeds as well. Can I eat the seeds? No. Can't eat raw seeds, you idiot. Yeah, I'm slowly healing up now. Let's see if we can get some more oysters. That's a stone. Uh, I will need more stones to make another fire, though, won't I? So let's run around getting some more stuff together. Now, there are some people over here in this wreck. I think this is called the Wreck of the... Oh, the Skylark or something weird? Right, I've got a, a little friend over there. Let's go over here and make some clothes. So I'm going to craft that up. And that. Uh, and I'm out of fibre. And the game very kindly... Oops! The game very kindly makes the stuff for you and puts it on as well. So I shall suddenly develop a tunic here and a pair of leggings. Come on. That's another journey step. Clothe yourself. Got some insects there. Another hungry, hungry crocodile. Thank you very much. Let's run back into the water. Right, so my little trousers will be appearing at some point. Where are they? There we go. <laughs> Nice. Okay, let's make our shoes and our gloves. Height of fashion. Nice one. Excellente. Right, let's go around here. Let's see if we can steal some stuff. We might get some food out of these people. I'm looking for oysters. Just all rocks everywhere. Uh, I'll pick up the rocks. 
Uh, I thought that was an oyster, you see. These people are really belligerent. But they do have some nice stuff on them. And I think we can probably steal some of their gear without getting killed. There's lots of chests around here. Lots and lots of them. We just have to remember where they are, don't we? I know there's some in there. Yeah, the first time I ever came across this camp, it was like middle of the night. And these guys frighten the life out of me. Here we go. Just look in here. Oh, crap. That's not very good, is it? Wreck of the Sea Girl. I think they've changed that. I don't think it was ever the Sea Girl. I think they've changed that name. Okay, let's run around. Are there things to steal here that are useful and interesting? Crap. Oh, I can't take three of them on. Oh, it's a sorcerer! There's a sorcerer there. You can tell because he's all corrupted. Look at him. Oh, and there's some flotsam. Yeah, you'll find these boxes of flotsam floating in the sea on the Isle of Sipta. It's always important that you grab them. But they've got some really good stuff in them. Right, so I found some supply materials. Ah, oh, I really need to try and find out if I can kill that guy. Because he might have a sorcerer's map on him. But at the same time, I'm very weak. So let's have a look at our attributes again. Oh, he didn't get any more. Oh. Right, there's a chest. What's in the chest? Yeah, I'll take all of it. Thank you. All your gold. Doesn't really do me too much good. Let's just try and kill you. No, <laughs> that didn't work out, did it? <laughs> when I get to level 8, I can make myself a little stone spear. And those are really good. I ought to... Oh, crap. Look at this. Die! Oh, nice. It's good. He's, he's bugged out. I don't mind. I'll take it. Easy win. <laughs> okay, got a friend. Got a friend. Let's run away. Run away. Oh, lordy. I think we can have to come back to this person, but at least we know he's here. At least we know he's here. But we desperately need some more food. We've got these insects, haven't we? Let's chomp on those. That's good. I'm sated, so that's giving me the passive healing. Oh, I daren't die. Can I? Oh, no, they've seen us. Oh. Rotom aggroed. I can't see anyone. Ah! Okay. We'll come back later. When I'm level 8, at least. I think, yeah, at level 8, I can build myself a little wheel of pain as well. Excellent, look. We've got some kit hands here. Nice. So that's my first kit hand caravan. Very, very good. Uh, not much I can do with it at the moment, is there? Let's get some insects down us. Keep running. Uh, so now we just want to level up. Oh, to, oh bloody hell, come on. Um, let's have some more insects. I'm sort of tempted to try and kill him. But not in my present state. Not in my present state. Is he still coming? No, he's giving up now. Oh. Let's get some more stuff. One way of levelling up is to do journey steps. And one of the journey steps is to climb. So let's climb up this. There we go. Just gained a level. I'm trying to remember what they all are. Uh, I've eaten, I've drunk, I've done this, made me little tools. I'm at level 5 so far. Oh, what's it in my supply materials? I've got some corrupted stone, which is always useful, I suppose. Some iron reinforcements. It's not terribly handy in my current situation. Let's get some oysters down us. Let's keep running along. Oh, where are your oysters? Are there oysters in the water? There ought to be. It's quite nice, isn't it? I should see a few oysters here and there. Come on. Oh, give me one at least. No, not to be. Keep going round. Here we go, here we go. Loads of the bastards. Ah, uh, thank you. 
Ought to make another fire soon. What I could do though, before I do anything else, is go and scout out my base. Because I've got a very particular location in mind. And it was a location I've discovered quite late in the day in my previous SIPs I played through. Which was over 18 months now, I think. Long time ago. But it's on that southern island, as I've said before. And we're coming to it now, I think. Well, more or less. Yeah, it's over there. There's the southern island. And it's a very nice location. It's uh, like a little hill next to an inland lake. Look at these oysters. Nice. Oh, I'm having your oysters. He's guarding his little oyster patch, wasn't he? That's a shame for him. You're not a boss, are you? He's not. I don't think he is. Except this one as well. <laughs> there we go. We've got enough oysters, I think. Enough to tide us over. Let's keep running around. Yeah, so this would be my first playthrough on Scepter on a single player game. I mean, the advantage being that you don't have other players sort of building everywhere. But at the same time, some players, especially on Scepter, I think, some players have some really fantastic structures and it's a shame not to see them. Oh, I have Ekem. Don't remember this being a location. Let's look at the map again. Okay, so we found that. That's the Sea Girl. I don't think it was called that. I'm sure it's the Sea Dog or something like that. That's really weird. Now, there could be a good weapon down here. That's the Lemurian Camp. And if we're very fast, we could get in there and actually steal a nice weapon. Can we steal it? I can't remember. Do we need... There's a tool called the Gravedigger Shovel, or it might just be called the Gravedigger. And you can use that to, to rob some um, entities, some locations rather. But I can't remember if this is one of the places you need to, to have that Gravedigger to be able to rob stuff. I think I might be able to just steal things. But it's a big camp, as you can see. So it's likely to get quite hairy. I've just got to run around really quickly, not get trapped, and then run off again. Yeah, this obelisk here, I might need a grave digger to get into this. This is what I was rambling on about earlier when I said locations. Can I interact with it? No, I need a shovel for that, damn it. I right, just run off. That's the grave digger I was telling you about. But there are some tools around here, perhaps? Come on. Sometimes you get weapons. Sort of, you know... Oh, bloody hell, Christ. Right, let's run away very quickly. Come on. Oh, I was crippled then, damn it. Yeah, sometimes you get weapons sort of lying about the place that you can just grab. Look at the damage. I'm so used to being level 60. So used to being level 60. <laughs> Come on. Over this. Over this. Come on. Get me well away from these psychos. Look at them all. Oh, crap. Why did I die? Um, I need to go down to the southeast again, don't I? Damn it. Okay, let's choose that. I was killed by the archer, of course. I got shot in the back. Oh, that's a pain in the ass. Okay, well, I'll run around and I'll retrieve my stuff. Okay, back again. It was a bit unfortunate, wasn't it? I've been picking up more oysters on the way. Oh, look at you. Yeah, I'll be picking up a few oysters. And I also found a turtle, believe it or not. And I've seen turtles before, I know. I'm not sure that I've done anything with them, though. But I pick one up. I wonder if I can eat it. Let's have a look. I don't know whether turtles you just have as pets. Or whether they count as food. There we go, look. Oh, it is food. Expires in... 10, well, 5 minutes and a bit. Let's cook up that turtle. I've never had turtle before. I need 10 of those things to make a fire, don't I? Oh, got some aloe by accident. Let's get some stones going. Excellent. Let's get you down. Building not loud. Oh, it's too close to that camp, I suppose. Come on. Oh, do us a favour. Can't be placing water, I know. Crocs over there. There's hyenas up in that ravine thing. 
that gully. We should be alright here. There we go, there we go. Put you down. Let's cook up a turtle. This is a first. Put you in there, get you going. Oh, it's just feral flesh, is it? It's nothing fancy. Is it just one piece of feral flesh? Oh, shredded roast. <laughs> I won't turn my nose up at that. I thought it was going to be... Uh, oh, no, that's, no, that's what feral flesh turns into, doesn't it? You cook up feral flesh into shredded roast. But I thought it might be something a bit more interesting. I don't know. Are well, we going to run round? Yeah, it's a good job I came off the beach, actually, because there's that crocodile there, and there's two hyenas over there as well. Well, we got to go and find our body. Come on. Let's go and find our body and recover our stuff. And then we'll go and find our campsite. We'll put down a bedroll. And then we will see about sort of trying to level up. So we can kill a sorcerer, perhaps. But my body should be over there in the water somewhere. I don't think anyone's going to bother us. They've all been un -aggroed. Come on, come on. This is a Stygian ship over here. There's quite a few Stygians lurking around the place. You guys have anything? I'll take it. Come on, I'm trying to lose all. Why aren't you working? <laughs> Why isn't that working? There we go. Should have just gone. Okay, okay. I've outstayed me welcome here. Where's my body? Here I am. Is that me? Oh, it is. Good grief. That's new. Loot all. Look at this. <laughs> that is new. Normally you just get the, um, the skull and the little pile of rocks. Or rather, I think you get the body as well, but I don't think I've seen it floating in water before now. Oh, right, let's go through here. There's another Stygian camp. Yeah, there's the ship and the little Stygian camp there. I'm just wondering if they've got a sorcerer with them. Because the place we want to get to is beyond them over there. I've got to try and remember where it was, though. It's been so long. Uh, I don't think I'm strong enough to take down a, a deer. These guys do have good loot. And you can normally steal quite a lot of stuff before they notice. So let's run around the corner. So they're chatting away there. I'm just going to have a look at your stuff. Oh, yeah. oh crap. There we go. Got it all. Whatever it was, we'll look at it later. Oh, get a dedicated weapon, nice. Excellent. There's another sticking camp over there, that's a bit more substantial. The place I want to be is through there somewhere. Are they still coming? Oh the game had frozen for a second. So there's another Kitan caravan over there. That settlement there is, oh, what's it called? Some sort of port. I can't recall. Damn, I don't think I can remember where this place is. Is there anything chasing us? Let's have a quick look at the map. Zoom in. I think we want to try to be there. I think that's it. I think that's the little lake I was thinking of. Or it might be that one, actually. So we got to head for this gully. And then go there. Okay, we can do that. So I think we got to go through that. And then climb up. Right, I'm looking around. This big old city here, that's called the Pools of the Grey one, I think. That's very dangerous. We won't go there for a while. That's where most of the grey ones hang out. There's quite a few of them around, though. There's rhinos. Game is stuttering a lot. I don't know why. I don't know why. Let's have a quick look at this place. Right, I really need to put some points in stamina. Damn it. Okay, okay, they've been aggroed. That's a pain. Let's run off. 
So we want to go around, like, avoid the rhino. Well, we're going to have to run past him and the other one. I think what we want is up there somewhere. Right, they've stopped chasing, haven't they? Oh. Run up here. Okay, up, 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 up. Up here, we should be alright. Oh no. <laughs> not really, not really, not at all alright. Run around the corner. Oh crud. Like a jump. Jump, jump, jump. Try and climb around this. Come on. Damn it. Hop de pup. Come on. Oh, are there sort of big cats around here? I can't recall. Let's get over here. Come on, sideways. Sideways now. Come on. Drop. Oh, look at the map again. So we're almost there. We've got to get over this. But there's a big iguanodon lives around this lake. Oh, crud. Okay, those are first men. I didn't realise they were there. My stomach hurts. Not surprised. Oh... Right, the first men are quite interesting characters. Yeah, Sipti has got some really interesting lore associated with it. But I won't go into that now. We'll sort of reveal that as we go through. Now what I can do, I can get my pick. There we go. Equip that. And I'm going to mine a node, because I know that's a journey step. Come on. There we go. Mine all the iron in a node. Get some more stone, because we'll need it. I think what we want is just here. Is it? I've been fooling myself. Oh, crud, Ola. Okay, that's really bad. Okay, that's very, very bad. We should be alright up here, though. Ah! There it is. That's what we want. There it is. Is that it? <laughs> Where are the big guys waiting for me down there? Oh no. I didn't realise there were big cats around here. This. This looks fairly civilised, I think. Apart from the iguanodon. And the leopards. Or the panther, whatever you want to call it. Uh, are these easy to take down? Let's give it a go. Oh, got me long sword. Let's try that out. Let's get some... Got two unspent points. Let's put that into grit. A little bit more stamina. Ooh, there's me long sword. There we go. So this is stuff I just pinched from those um, stickyans. All right, yeah, you're going down, aren't you? Triple an enemy. Go over here. Getting to another level. Thanking you. Right, perform a heavy finisher. I didn't realise I had done that. Let's just slash them up. Oh, right, they're both quite badly injured. About as badly as I am. That's raw oyster flesh. Um, got no healing, really. They're coming for me. There we go, there we go. Slay. Another journey step. Super. Right, let's chop them up. Right, another level. Should be up to level 8 by now, I would have thought. Oh, Ica. Feral flesh. Yeah, it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> right. So now I really want to make a fire. Let's hack this up. I want to make a fire and... I've got loads of, yeah, I've got loads of fibre. Let's climb up here. This is where I'll make our first base, I think. Because it's safe here, really, isn't it? Okay. Right, so I shall make myself a bedroll. Right, I need twine. I can make some of that. Let's craft up four of them. So we'll put a bedroll down and perhaps make a box as well. To put some of our stuff in. Yeah, look at that. 84%. 84% capacity. What's what's weighing so much? 
All the dry wood, I suppose. That weighs an awful lot. But we can make this bedroll now. And a box is what? Oh, I need to buy the box, don't I? So I've got... Right, this is... Well, I've got 21 points to use up. This is Apprentice Mason. I need that. I've got Box Builder down here. Box Maker, rather. So go back and we can see all our recipes. Where's my boxes? Do I... Right, do I use a construction hammer? That's a repair hammer. Where's my construction hammer? There we go. Come on. Come out of there. Oh, I've got to make that as well, do I? Okay. Well, obviously, it's in the crafting menu. Did I just make myself a repair hammer by accident? I did, didn't I? Oh, crap. Let's get the construction hammer going. I need more twine for that. Okay, let's twine ourselves out. Come on. Let's get going. Get some more fibre going. Right, we should have everything we need. Let's get the old bedrock going now. Good. Over there is a very significant sticky and settlement. Which again, weirdly, I only discovered sort of uh, quite late in my last sip to playthrough. That's quite fun. Um, I'm obviously too weak to do too much exploring around there. Uh, I'm starving to death, it seems. So let's get a fire going very quickly. Another fire, please. I'm very, very hungry. Yeah, must eat soon. I've been ignoring my hunger pangs. Let's get the fire down. Oh, I had a fire already, damn. Uh, let's get the cotton. Put that down. Open that. Oh, I'll eat the shredded roast. And then there's all that. F right, where's all the meat I got? Where's all the meat I got from? So, this is the meat that I got from those lizard things. Let's cook that up. And we will cook up the oyster as well. Good, good. Uh, shreddy roast, thank you. Very nice. Uh, we've got... Oh, I've managed to make two fibre bed rolls somehow. Ridiculous. Um, put that over there. Excellent. So that's my spawn point updated. So if I die now, I will spawn there. Uh, level, we are at level 10, which is good, because I want to go to uh, knowledge. We've got a weapons maker, which is down here. Which one is it? It's the stone pike is what I want. Pretty sure, but we need these other ones as well. We might as well buy these daggers and swords and whatever. Good, that's all done. Let's see if we can make ourselves a stone pike. Excellent. These are really good weapons. I love my stone pikes. Grip some more of this. Shredded roast. Right, okay, so now we want to go and find ourselves a sorcerer to murder. Ah, uh, this is going to be quite difficult. Um, let's get attributes. Let's get some more. Right, I've earned a perk. Heavy blows, heavy and special attacks deal 10% more damage. Okay, I can cope with that. Got three more points. Let's put those into grit. So tenacity increases your armor by 40 and stamina by 20. That's very good. Nice. So anyway, we're a bit... Let's have some more food. We're a bit better equipped, aren't we? I was going to make a box. Uh, that needs quite a lot of wood, I think. Right, let's make a box. Okay, so we're ready to box up, I think. I've got my crafting hammer up. My construction hammer. I've just got to find out what to do with it now. Crafting stations. This is building pieces. Let's go to decorations. Here we go, storage. Oh, God, I need more twine. Okay, let's make some twine. We're right back again. We should be all right now. Let's have a look. Yeah, we can make ourselves a little wooden box. Thank you very much. Put you there. We can store some of our crap. Get our weight down. I mean, it's all useful stuff. I don't want to waste any of it. Store goods. Put that in there. 
uh, bone. It's all handy stuff, I must say. It's all handy stuff and the gold. Iron bits. Perhaps don't really need a lot of this stuff, but... Oh, yeah, I'm not going to turn my nose up at it. Got some nice ivory arrows. And we've got some fangs. <laughs> we don't need the repair hammer just this minute. Yeah, we're down to 36%. That's fine. Right, let's go and find some unsuspecting sorcerer to squish. I'm wondering whether the first men have got sorcerers attached to them. I doubt it somehow. Doubt it very much. Yeah, they're very close, aren't they? Damn. These are the first men. They've got some really nice armour. I really like their armour. <laughs> they're quite antisocial, though. And they're very tough. I don't want to take them on, thank you very much. Okay. I was unaware they were so close to me, but that's not going to be a problem. They keep to themselves. Well, someone's after me. Oop. Right, there's another first man settlement over there. You can hear big cats. One over here. Oh, down and down. Come on. What was that? Oh, it's a lion down there. Look. I didn't even know it's him. Damn. Yeah, there's nowhere particularly safe. Apart from the beach. Oh crap. On a um on the Isle of Sipta. It's all quite dangerous, especially these damn rhinos. Look at this. Bastard thing. Can I take him down? Oh got me stone pike. I might be a match for him. Let's get him. Okay, let's try and hit something, please. No, he's really tough. I'm not gonna get anywhere with you, am I? Let's run away. Uh, I'd rather face the rhinos than that character. Put this down. Just try and sneak past the rhinos. Sneak past. Sneak, sneak. Uh, get up here. So we're back to this place. I can't remember what it's called. Port of Kemi or something like that? Kemi Docks. I think it's the Kemi Docks, isn't it? Come on, let's get it on the map. Come on, come on. Just get it on the map, then we'll go. Yeah, new Kemi Dog. Okay, there we go. Right, we can just jump in the water. Gain the level. Hopefully we won't get archered. Although we might do. Right, we found civilization, it seems. We should be... Okay, this is bad. Oh, I've been crippled. Oh, right around here. We should be all right. We'll be okay. Come on. Damn. We could have found a relatively small, like, human camp. Oh, Jesus. A relatively small human camp. Well, we can nobble ourselves a sorcerer. And the problem is, at my level, at my strength, sorcerers aren't going to be easy to take down. So I might have bitten off more than I can chew, really. All the camps I can think of are massive, really, or quite large. I think the smallest one is that seagull place. Let's get some insects down. Let's, let's start our passive healing. Come on, a few more insects. Let's, let's keep them going. Yeah, there's not much on these boats, unfortunately. You can't really explore inside them. They look nice, but... Um, like I said, they haven't got too many resources. I think you tend to get about six crates, but it's sort of standard loot. So there's nothing particularly special in there. I need to make myself some aloe potion, don't I? Did I buy the recipe for that? Ah, uh, let's go. Hang on. Okay. Do this properly. Knowledge, please. Where's the aloe potion? Damn, got armor down here. Um, where is it? Oh, I've got the wheel of pain. Excellent. Right, that might be the first job actually to get a thrall to help us in our adventures. That might be it. Okay, I'm going to 
look for aloe on here. Because I can make myself a very weak aloe brew. I mean, I could just sort of magic it in using admin, but it's cheating. So, where is it? You used to be able to make a very... I've got rough wraps. Oh, there you go. Weak aloe extract. I can make that already, it seems. I didn't even notice. Was it staring me in the face? Oh, it was as well. Look at that. I can make quite a lot of that. Good. It's going to save me some heartache, I'm sure. Obtain a potion. Um, let's get this up into our menu up here. This character sometimes has a map on them. Yeah, scouts report. So it's not a map, it's a scouts report, but I can flog that. But what you have to do, you have to go right to the north of the map. Come out. <laughs> come out, come on, let's do this again. There we go. You have to go right to the north of the map, up to there. There's like a little sort of outcast oh, settlement. In the name of set. Yeah, yeah. Run over. Come on. I don't want any more trouble. Thank you very much. Let's take one of those. Good, look at that. Health is brilliantly back. Oh, now there are a few like sort of mini outcrops of people over here. I mean, you know, very small camps of people on that island. Well, it's not an island, is it? It's just part of this island. Well, let's go and have a look at them. We'll go and have a look at them. See if there's anyone I can sort of um, polish off. Because this might be a place to, you know, build a, a wheel of pain, perhaps. I don't have to drag them all the way back to my camp. Nice lot of shallow water around here. And there's hyenas in here. Very dangerous. But what I want is just around this corner. Just around here. Come on, it's a bit further on. Poor old stamina. It's really holding me back. Have I got any points? Attributes. I got one. I'll put that into grit, I think. Uh, okay, yeah. So we definitely want to get to um, endurance. Your stamina regenerates 25% faster. That's going to be really handy. So what I'm looking for is, I think... Where are they? They used to be around here, I'm sure. Are they right over there? Are oh, they right over there, I think. Are oh, they miles away? Damn. Okay. What it is, it's just like a little group of exiles. But one of them... Well, I think they're accursed exiles, and accursed are really strong. Let's get some aloe. So they're really good to take down as thralls. So that might be our first job, actually, just getting an accursed thrall. These are quite fun, these big old bones everywhere. There's more aloe going. Probably need a lot more of that potion as well. So let's get it down us. Yeah, make nine of that, thank you. It's quite heavy though, you've got to watch it. What was that? Something seen as, is that a hyena? I think we aggroed a hyena briefly. Oh no, no, it's invisible, it's invisible. Bastard thing, you're not a boss are you? No, definitely not. <laughs> definitely not a boss. A feeble little hyena you were. Excellent, lots of hyena pelt. I'm not sure what I'll do with that. I'll get a head, I've got a head. I'm not chopping him up, that's nice. Alright, we're very busy here. All our stuff. Right, there's giant snakes over here, I can hear them. I'd forgotten about the giant snake. There he is. I just want to make sure this little camp is still here. Hello, Shellback. Yeah, there they are. So we've got an archer over there. All right, all right. How tough are you? Go on. Not very tough. Let's back off. Wait for him to attack again. 
Come on. <laughs> and get in again. Oh. Do love the stone pie. But what we can do, we can go around the corner and avoid the big snake. Although there are nasties down here. There's like these lacunas, which are sort of weird, uh, sort of, well, they're, they're lizard stroke reptiles. But there they are. And these are quite vicious. Oh. Oh, you're coming, are you? If I can get you fighting these fellas. Can you fight these ones? Can you, you're going to fight the lacuna. There we go. Come on, look. He's just waiting for you. Come on, get him. Come on, ignore me. Come on, blood in the water. Come on. Because these guys are tough. Oh, boss as well. Okay, okay. <laughs> I've met my match, I think. And what's happened here? Okay, so our guy has finished off that snake, which is good. Ooh. I can't take you on, can I? It's ridiculous. Um, what I want to do, though... Ah, oh, perhaps my fighter could take on this boss. Hi, fella. Come on. Come on. There we go. There we go. That's it. You fight him. Right, fight all these guys. This is the little camp I was telling you about. I would have mentioned it. Oh. They're just fixated on me. It's so annoying. What I want to do is find somewhere relatively safe to build a wheel of pain. <laughs> oh dear, I don't think that's very likely, is it, really? What I'm going to have to do... I think that lacuna is going to kill my guy. Oh, that's irritating. If you want to help your friend out, look at that. Look at the damage he's done. Oh, my lord. Right, let's take a weak aloe extract. That's it, that's it. Nice. Now, what do I need to make my wheel of pain? Um, let's get the old construction hammer up. No, not that. There we go. Uh, crafting stations, I suppose. Companions. That's quite a useful euphemism, isn't it? Building's not allowed here. I seem to have everything I need, though, do I? Overlapping. Oh, no, not enough materials. I need iron bars. Oh, my God. Okay, I need wood. Stone iron bars. Okay, so I've got to build myself a furnace. Have you killed everyone, basically? Have you murdered everyone? So I've got to go back, build myself a furnace. And then I've got the iron bars. Yeah, then when I get the iron bars, I can come back. Uh, oh, he's still going. He's still going. Oh, well done. But I think that's going to have to be in the next episode. I thought we'd do a lot more than we actually have done. Can I grab you, though? Can I grab you? Just, just to see. Just as my... Oh, no, she's gone back. Uh, let's have a drink. Come on, don't freeze at me now. Come on. Now, they've all reset. Uh, yeah, A, I was wondering whether there might be a sorcerer here. B, this is where you get nice to cursed thralls. So good. At least I've done a bit of scouting. Found out what's going on. Okay, well, it seems I've got to run all the way back to my rather inconveniently placed camp. But what I'll do, I shall make myself a furnace, mine some iron, and a bit of coal, because there is coal around here. And then we'll come back and grab ourselves a thrall in the next episode. And then we will go out and slaughter a few people, try and find a dead sorcerer, and take it from there. So anyway, I hope you found that useful and entertaining. Hope to see you again for the next episode. And until I do see you again, I shall say goodbye. Heck then. Cheerio.